Hello Aries, I'm Christy. You're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Aries this week? Oh, you just had the Five of Pentacles and the Palace of Cups. The Palace of Cups, the Palace cards are really, um, specific to this tarot deck. Normal tarot decks don't have palace cups. So I don't really know what the traditional meaning is, but I'll still clarify it and find out. Okay, you also had the Five of Swords come out. And the Page of Swords and the Strength card and the Queen of Pentacles. So firstly, with the Five of Coins, Five of Coins is usually a symbol of feeling a little bit a little bit left out in the cold or feeling a little bit alone this week even if you're surrounded by people you just feel a little bit isolated or like they're not seeing you or you just feel like you're not being fully included it can also be you feeling like you don't have enough when it comes to finances and a little bit of fear around that so i'll clarify that first you have the tower card that's good an abrupt ending, an abrupt transformation. So that's the card you want to get it with. To have an abrupt transformation to feeling a little bit on your own, like you don't have enough or like you're not being included. Um, there's going to be a huge transformation where you then see, either you see you were wrong and you did have people around, or a lot of people are about to come into your life where you no longer feel alone. Clarifying the Palace of Cups, you have Seven of Wands. So, cups are emotion. So there's something around your home with the palace. It feels like your home has a lot of love in it. Your house this week, there's a lot of love and happiness and fulfillment coming from wherever you're living right now. And with the Seven of Wands, you're going to protect it. Seven of Wands is all about protecting and kind of standing up for and looking after so you could be somehow like putting in measures to protect your home but it seems almost like you're becoming more passionate about who you let in to your home who you let into your world um palace of cups is definitely for me right now symbolizing it can be a home that is a lot of love it could even be yourself right it's it's almost just like you're now protecting your heart and you're protecting the palace feels something like it could be your family as a whole right clarifying the five of swords king of pentacles there is somebody around you creating conflict which could be why you're sticking up for yourself, standing up for where you are right now. Um, seems like priorities, for some reason that word's coming through. Your priorities, what you're standing up for, what you're giving energy to, for some reason is being questioned, second guessed, or kind of just made prominent for some reason. And you're gonna have to stand up for yourself and be like, my priorities are this, and that may seem silly to you, but it's my priority, not yours. There's something, because Five of Swords, it's almost like someone wants to create conflict within you. With the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is someone very solid, very stable. They have their money together, they have their stability together. They know what they're doing, in a way. Um, it doesn't have to be money. It can just be like, this person has a lot of time on their hands. And time is money, in a way. And it just feels as if... This is like someone either older than you or that sees themselves as older than you. And it's like they know better. But with the Five of Swords, you're like... It's almost as if they start to cause conflict in you and then you go, no. I'm not letting you... I'm not letting you make me second guess myself. There's a need for you to definitely stand up for yourself, even if it's just... Even if it's not to this person, it could just be to yourself. Like, don't let this person get into your head. You can't really stop someone from saying anything to you, but you can stop yourself from listening or from letting it get to your heart. 
clarifying the page of swords eight of wands with the page of swords there's something page of swords is someone younger so it feels almost like you even if you're watching this and you're like i'm 93 i'm not bothered you're in this energy of being more innocent more young more playful more happy more like purposefully naive choosing to be um optimistic might be a better word than naive um but eight of wands is fast movement and change and communication and i'm hiccuping as i'm saying communication but it feels as if there's going to be a change for some of you in how you communicate how you talk what you say and being open to looking a bit naive but optimistic you're open to coming across as younger than you are or seeming silly or foolish because you you're not afraid to seem that way because you know you're not it's almost like um you can tell when someone's more intelligent than another person because they're willing to ask dumb questions they're not willing to look they're not worried about looking silly that's this energy there's something you could be doing something new very soon trying something new or just going about the world differently and you're not afraid to look silly or dumb or foolish for trying something new doing new things but it doesn't feel like one thing in particular it's almost like you're having this new lease of life where you're trying new things in general you're gen in general being the fool uh, it'd be funny if the fool card came out but it just feels as if it's your energy towards there's a huge change of you just being open more to new and new people as well clarifying the strength card and it's happening very quickly three of cups with the strength card as i said new people three of cups which is all about friends partying or not necessarily partying but it's that energy of having fun at the party i hope that makes sense like the, the feeling of like celebrating and feeling good and being in very high spirits is the three of cups and it's also about friends and get togethers and enjoying yourself with others around you with the strength card some of you have like a very strong bonding experience this week um with friends um almost like a very strong memory is going to be made a very important happy memory where you can kind of look back and be like remember that time in 2024 when we did this like there's something very strong something very prominent that you won't be able to forget but it's very happy clarifying the strength card i'm sorry the queen of pentacles but you did get six of pentacles to clarify strength clarifying queen of pentacles you have the ace of swords and the king of wands you have a communication coming so you have king of pentacles queen of pentacles which is cool but you also have a um new piece of clarity coming in and i feel as if you're going to see yourself in a much more clear light this week some of you i feel like this energy of you not quite seeing your true colors or picking yourself apart to the point where you can't see yourself very clearly because you're so zoomed in on everything you don't like about yourself that you don't see yourself as a whole and you don't see your complete self but with the ace of swords and the king of wands i feel like there's a new confidence coming to you this week where you see yourself through the eyes of others somehow or you see yourself through much more um, accurate light and you like it and it's going to bring this new lease of courage and self-confidence and self-assurance i should say because you like what you see you're going to see yourself maybe you'll see yourself through a recording or something and there's almost that energy of oh i don't want to look at that and then you look at it and you go oh who is she is that me i look good like there's something where you actually like what you see um because king of wands is very confident very self-assured and with the ace of swords it's like a new clarity of that you're gonna like it i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything has resonated or you feel it will please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny tall terry tuesdays